Hey, what's up everybody? It's Aubrey and I am here today with another what's for dinner video. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to share a few of the pictures and videos that we took while we were on vacation in North Carolina at the beginning of the week. And because we were on vacation, I only have four meals to share with you but they are still easy, delicious, and something that you could make for your family. Also, if you'd like to skip ahead to the first meal of the week, it is at one minute and 54 seconds, or you can find it down in the description box below and just click to where the first meal starts. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you are here and being a part of my YouTube journey. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoy these videos and want to keep watching, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below and tell me something that made you happy this week. I would love to talk to you down in the comments. <laughs> so the first meal of the week is some chili spaghetti. We had chili the night before and we wanted to use up the leftovers because the next night we were going to be going out of town. So if you saw last week's what's for dinner video, you saw me make a big pot of chili and it turned out so good. I will link that video down in the description box if you want to see how I made the chili. But I just served the chili over some spaghetti like I'd normally make chili. Just put it over spaghetti instead of rice. This was our first night back from being out of town and I wanted something that would be simple yet very filling and delicious since we had been eating a whole bunch of, not really a whole bunch of fast food, but we've just been eating out at restaurants a lot and we wanted something home cooked for sure. So I am just cooking up some ground beef. I am using some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some salt and pepper to season the ground beef. I also use an Italian blend grinder. We found this seasoning mix at Sam's Club and we really like it. Once I cook it up, I'm going to drain it, and you'll see that I'm just putting a paper towel in the pan to absorb all of that grease. I saw someone here on YouTube, several people actually, who, who did this, and I was like, that is genius. So ever since I saw people doing that, I was like, I'm gonna do that too. After I get the grease out of the ground beef, then I'm just gonna add some spaghetti sauce. I just use traditional spaghetti sauce. Use whatever you guys like. I'm not super particular. I got this one at Target. That was pretty good. So I'm just gonna mix it all together. I did save about a quarter of the jar so that I could pour it as in the bottom of my baking dish. And so I'm just gonna spread that out. And once I spread that out, I'm going to layer some cheese ravioli on the bottom of the dish. And I kind of struggled to get it to fit in just a little bit, but I, as you can see, I'll make it work and it ends up just fine. Once I have the first layer of ravioli down, I'm gonna take about half of that meat sauce and cover the ravioli with it. 
Once I do that, I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan. Next, I'll add another layer of ravioli, then the rest of the meat sauce, and some more mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, and then another layer, the last layer, of ravioli. And I was out of meat sauce, so I had another jar that I bought just in case I needed more sauce. And I put that on top of the last layer of ravioli, and then I covered it with some more mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. Now I put it in the oven at 400 for about, I think 30 minutes. And then I took it out and I took the foil off and I let it bake for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And I still didn't see that brown gooiness. So then I added, I put it on a broil just to get that brown, you know, goodness on top. And this is how everything turned out when it was finished. It was so good. My husband enjoyed it. My son, who didn't think he was going to like it, really liked it. And it was a great dinner for our first night back. My husband was really craving some homemade beef stroganoff, so that is what I'm making tonight. We got a pack of stew meat, I think it was about two and a half pounds, like 2.67 pounds. And I am just going through the meat and I am cutting it up just to make sure it's in bite-sized pieces. Once I've cut up all the meat, I am going to cook it in a pan with some olive oil. I am going to seasoning, <laughs> season it with some Kinder's The Blend seasoning, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Once the meat is cooked through, I'm going to add a whole container of sliced baby bella mushrooms. I sliced these pretty thin and I'm just going to stir that up and start adding the seasoning. Now I'm adding two beef stroganoff packets. This is from McCormick, and I'm going to follow the directions on the back of the packet. It's very easy. You just add some water, you let it, you stir it up, you let it simmer for about 10 minutes, and then you add your sour cream, and then that's it. The, the, that part of the meal is done. Now you can serve this over 
rice or mashed potatoes or egg noodles, we decided to go for some egg noodles. So I boiled up one package of egg noodles, but you'll see in a little bit that to me it wasn't enough. So I ended up cooking a second bag of egg noodles and only using half of it. Now that the sauce is done, I'm gonna add my first bag of egg noodles to the pot and I'm gonna stir it up. And I realize that one bag of egg noodles just isn't enough. I ended up making another bag of egg noodles. I just didn't feel like what I had was enough, it just seemed too saucy. So I put half of the, the noodles in the pot. This looks more like what I usually make. So I think what happened was I made, that's my dog. I think what happened was I made two packets of sauce instead of the one that I usually make. So that's why it was extra saucy. Anyway, this is what it should look like when it is all done. And this is my plate. I just sprinkled it with a little bit of parsley to make it look pretty on the camera. It was so good. I'm so glad that I made it. We needed another easy dinner. So on this night, I decided to make biscuits and gravy. Who doesn't love breakfast for dinner? So I'm just gonna take one yellow onion and dice it up and I'm going to saute it in a little bit of olive oil until the onions are soft. Once they are, I'm going to add in some breakfast sausage to the pan and cook it up until it's fully cooked.
I'm just using a pack of Grand Southern Style Biscuits. These are our favorite, um, except for the Pillsbury, like the ones you buy in the freezer. Those are really, really good too. But if I don't have those, this is what I go to. They are delicious and they're just perfect for biscuits and gravy. Once the sausage is cooked through, I add two heaping spoonfuls of flour. This is probably two thirds a cup of flour. I'm not sure though, because I didn't really measure it. I just kind of go by what looks right to me. So I mix it all together, let the flour cook just for a little bit so you don't have that raw flour taste. And once I do that, I'm going to add some milk. Again, I did not measure. It's probably about two cups of milk, maybe a little bit more. Now that I've added the milk and stirred it up, I am going to add my seasonings. So I'm adding salt, pepper, and my big seasoning that I always add to my gravy is marjoram. My mom taught me that seasoning. I really enjoy it. I think it adds like a nuttiness to the gravy and it tastes really good. I also add some red pepper flakes. And then I'm just gonna stir it up and I'm gonna keep stirring until it comes to the thickness that I want it. And this is where I kind of just have to play around because sometimes I have to add more flour and then sometimes I need to add more milk. This time I ended up adding a little bit more milk to the gravy so it was the consistency that I knew my family would enjoy. Now I ended up tasting the gravy off camera just to make sure it was the taste that I was going for and I completely forgot to add the garlic powder. So I ended up adding a little bit more salt and a little bit of garlic powder and mixed it in with the gravy and probably added a little bit more milk just to get it all mixed up and it was perfect. It was so good. I am so excited. When we were on vacation, we had biscuits and gravy at the hotel, but it was like continental gravy and it was not very good. Probably like a powder mix. Anyway, I'm so glad we had it. Now I'm going to make some scrambled eggs. I just cracked six eggs into a bowl, scrambled them up, added a little bit of milk, and then I'm gonna cook them in some butter. night was so comforting. I ended up accidentally kind of burning the eggs because I left them on the burner too long. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I had turned it off, but that's okay. This is dinner and it was delicious. Thank you so much for watching this week's What's for Dinner. I'm so glad that you stopped by and chose to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Um, have a great week guys and I will be back later in the week with a grocery haul and another what's for dinner. Bye!